all right let me squeeze back in here get in focus hopefully all right so i'm gonna wait and unwrap this in a second hey guys this is chris of carter's talk tone worst transition ever from the rambling and i'm continuously going in and out of focus and i look blurry hopefully i'm not we're good all right uh fender also sent me a one of their new uh gig bags i haven't unwrapped it yet because i have two dogs and they shed and i did not want to get this thing covered in fur so i just kind of left it in the bag since they sent it so it's going to be a bit of a first impressions <coughs> Alright, so far very nice. Alright, one of the main reasons I asked them to send this to me because it's, you know, a gig bag. Why would somebody really need to review a gig bag? I don't know. But it seemed, like, just from the pictures, it seemed like it might be kind of on par with, like, the mono case of the same style, but... You know, unlike uh, Ryan Burke from 60 Cycle Hum, I don't think I'd be throwing this one out of a second story window quite now. Well, maybe. Not that I'm going to do it, because I have to send this back also. Oh. Okay, so, on the inside... Pretty nice. Let me see how well this fits. Oh, that is a lot of extra space. These uh, little neck things are adjustable. They're sitting on Velcro, so... Okay. Let me get that lined up with... I'll show you what I was getting it lined up with in a second. So far, sitting smooth. Not wiggling around too much. Overall, weight with the guitar... Eh, slightly lighter than, uh, you know, your standard hard shell case. But, um, what I was lining up the guitar with on the inside is this little rubber piece. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's a little, like, oval cup that your, uh, bottom strap button goes into. So that's a nice touch. I guess that, that keeps it from, uh, moving around too much. It's because, like, when I first put this in here, you know, there's... I'm going to stand up and kind of show you how much... There's still quite a bit of space. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be supposed to be, like, a little more generic. So it could fit, you know, straps or any other things that you'd want to put in it. So I get why it needs the extra space. But, like, these kind of help keep it in place, too, when it's closed. So that was actually... Overall, I say it's a really good thought out case. Seems pretty sturdy. Definitely wouldn't like run over it with a car, but like if you're had it leaning up against the wall and it fell over, I wouldn't have any, you know, I wouldn't be too terribly upset, unlike, you know, your standard, you know, cheap padded gig bag. All right, let's close this back up. Hand ooh. Handle is like super padded. So yeah. That's a very nice touch also. Let's check out well. Got one, two, three, four, five pin holders. Key ring. Little ID badge holder 
some nice expandable pockets, which is nice. I'm sure you could fit a, uh, yeah, microphone sits very nicely in there. Even a big old SM, yeah, even a 58 style sits in there nicely. Would a pedal fit in there? Let's find out. Oh yeah, oh, that fits nice. So if you uh, wander around without a pedal board and have a couple of pedals, you know, it's a good little cut. I guess if you absolutely needed a, uh... well, I guess you can stick your tools in here. That looks like enough to fit a screwdriver, a couple of... Uh... Allen wrenches, probably your truss rod arm. That's actually a very nice and well thought out pocket. That one's just plain. A little more boring. Uh, backpack. Straps. Oh, they're the nice kind. Oh. You know what, we're gonna give this a shot. Just for the fact of uh, getting a full on review. Can you zip this back up? No. That's a bit of a bummer. What's up in here? Nothing. Hmm. I guess this is the equivalent of like a backside handle, like other cases have and it's got a nice little uh not exactly felt yeah basically felt lining in there so it's kind of soft let's put a guitar back in here and you know what i'm gonna grab something other than a flat strap or telly stuck nope that ain't gonna work okay definitely only Fender and Strat styled. Jazzmaster probably. I don't have one of those laying around to throw in here. <laughs> Test out. Why aren't you fitting again? <laughs> yeah, because it's a very snug fit for just your standard flat top stuff, so I guess that makes sense. So let's see. Oh. Oh yeah, very comfortable to wear, not too much strain on the back, the padding feels excellent, very very nice touch. So this would to me kind of, I don't know if many of you would remember those, what are they, wolf pack cases, it was like a foam injected hard it was like the insides of a hard case but with like the soft gig bag shell that kind of like cut down on the weight it kind of reminds me of those which I had one for a while it was really nice it lasted up until it basically got flooded so you know since there was like no hard exterior to keep water out. It was basically soaked. And I didn't want to let it dry, so it just got tossed out. Um, guitar was fine, so... Um, anyway, back to this. Back padding felt really good. Street price on these is $99, so 100 bucks. A uh, little cheaper than their standard hard cases if i remember right it's no like ata style which is a bit i'm, I'm thinking more of their uh what is it the tweed covered ones I'm, I'm sure if you've been around a while you uh know what those look like but uh yeah it kind of, this is probably be more comparable to the Mono M8, which is a 150 soft-ish gig bag, but you know, this is definitely 
a huge step up from the Fender FE405 electric guitar gig bag. Um, that looks like it's just your standard, like, flimsy thing that you'd uh, take your guitar home from Guitar Center with, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, overall, for 100 bucks. For 100 bucks, if you're not wanting a hard case and definitely wanting to get an upgrade from your soft gig bag, this is definitely, it feels like a very solid choice. I would have no problem transporting, you know, a guitar in this at all. You know, it sits like a stand, like one of the older molded, like SKB cases. Um, so yeah, I've enjoyed, uh, like I said, this is first impression, so I, I've enjoyed it, you know, I feel like it'd be worth a hundred bucks just to be able to, you know, protect a little more than, you know, a standard gig bag. Like I keep, <laughs> like I keep saying, but, uh, yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll put a link down below to where you can pick one of these up if you want to. Um, like I said, I'd highly recommend this over, you know, if you're still wandering around with like the quarter inch thick foam, uh, gig bags. Uh, if you even have one of those, if you're going with like the straight, like nylon only padded, like not even padded ones definitely invest in this but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh please be sure to like and subscribe to be able to see more of the stuff that we have coming up and we will see you in the next video bye